Holy shit, that's hot. Damn, that's hot. Ooh. Take a taste of this car ready to burn a hole through that porcelain. Mm. Hey, Marlo. Come over here. Taste this. No, I don't eat hot anything. No, no, no. You got, you'll like this. You'll like this. Taste this. It doesn't matter. Taste it. I can feel the heat just coming near my mouth. Yeah, but what about the charged sweetness? Okay, this is a menu item that I'm going to take credit for. Fine by me, as long as you put my name on it. And we'll call it... Tommy's Sauce... That Milo came up with. Not really. All right, we'll go with that. Yeah, I'll put that all on the label. Oh, you got mail. What are you, what are you talking about? I got mail. How does anybody know where I live? Listen, pile. Everybody gets junk mail. Your name's always attached to something. Oh. Look at this. It's an invitation to the Deli of the Beast holiday party. Whoa! Marley went all out. I have, what holidays you celebrate? It doesn't even say. It doesn't even have the address. It just says, come to the Deli of the Beast. We're having a celebration. I'm there. Especially if I can get some of that broccoli dip. He has a healthy, healthy obsession with broccoli. Yeah, for some reason it makes me feel great. Limber. In fact, I might even do some parkour later. Holiday, like the new year, and I'm coming. You know what? You're just making a mess, Marlo. All you're gonna do is take it down and clean it up. How about you just don't put it up in the first place? Like, I know I like to make a mess, but I don't like to clean it up. But that's why I hired you guys. Uh, uh, oh, you realize that uh, multiple cultures don't celebrate the New Year on this day anyways. This is more of um, American New Year. Everybody's included in this party. That's the point. It's a holiday party, okay? It's the end of the year. You take everything that you did in that year that you didn't like, and you shove it up the ass of last year, and you cook it. Just like a turkey. <laughs> Do you see this? B-Y-O-D. Oh, we gotta bring something? See? There's always a scheme behind the party. Luckily, I have the perfect thing in mind. Oh, I already know the D I'm gonna bring. There's not many people here. I thought this was a party. Hey, guys. What'd you guys bring? Oh, yeah! Everybody, listen, I brought my special punch recipe, and I got so many different types of fruit in it. Hey, Marlo, the invitation said B-Y-O-D. Now, me and Pete couldn't decide if the D stood for dip or drugs. So just in case, we brought both. My apologies. It was a typo. I had my own dip and my own drugs. B-Y-O boost. This is not a bar. We don't have any alcohol. No worries. I got that covered. Chartreuse. What made you go with that? Oh, I just like that it had short in the title. Yeah, well, none for me. Alcohol and blades don't mix, pal. Trust me. Guess you can call me Straight Edge. Uh, look, Tommy. Uh, look what I just pulled out of the oven. My family's secret recipe fruitcake. All right, that's the worst thing to bring to a party. You know what cliche that is? That's the mullet of cakes. Oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. Listen, guys, settle in, and tonight is going to be the craziest New Year ever. And not to mention our signature holiday ham of the beast, which should be done right about now. That smells mighty delicious. I can't wait to get a slice of that ham. Uh, um, that, that smell makes me nauseous. That has to stop. Ham of the Beast. Ham of the Beast. Ham of the Beast. Ham of the Beast. Oh shit, you got me saying it. 
I thought it was supposed to be a happy occasion. The end of the year. We're supposed to start over, right? And the same old bullshit. No, no, it's it's good. It's good. Um, I'll, I'll get a new catchphrase, like a burrito alarm. You know, it, it seems like it's a good time to just get drunk and set a bunch of goals you can't meet. I, I, like, really, like, any time we come around and we talk, it's like we keep getting shrunken down and we have to keep talking down to each other, eventually. Somebody want to grab that bottle from him? He's about 340s deep. Listen, if you go ahead and take a clock and you turn it upside down and you turn it clockwise, you're actually turning back the hands of time. That's just the way it works. Nope. Doesn't work. I tried going back in time before I met Pete. Hey, what are you talking about? You don't want to hang out with me anymore? These are the conversations of imbeciles, I swear. Although, I don't think I'd have it any other way. You guys are all right. No, listen, how? Listen, Pete just had too much, you know, some of that, uh, what's that liquor? That one liquor that drinks like really hard? Yeah, it's called uh, chartreuse. I put it in the, I put it in the punch that we all had. Wait, you put alcohol in it? Hold on, that's that's why I'm being so nice to everybody. I thought I felt weird. Listen, guys, I just thought the holiday party was gonna be a lot of fun, and I guess Pal has the same idea. So we have chartreuse and LSD. Yeah, and actually, somebody brought cocaine. If if you want to help yourself in the bathroom, I don't know who did, but this is a great party. As long as you're not inviting any other people, right? <laughs> There's cocaine! <laughs> Bathroom! You know, Card, this fruitcake is actually delicious. Thank you, Pile. It's an old family recipe. It's good, it's good, it's good. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, this is the best fruitcake I ever had. The secret is not to put any fruit into it. What's up with this? What's going on here? No one's even going near the sauce. You realize all you put in there was tomatoes and several types of peppers. All that is is heartburn fuel. You know, I don't really know why we're celebrating or how we got together or where this is gonna end up. But all I know is this. I'm hanging with a bunch of friends and we're having a great time. Except for Pete. You okay, Pete? I think somebody slipped me a Mickey. All right, hey, go sit down. Hey, somebody help him, somebody help him. He needs to sit down. I got him, I got him, I got him. Listen, you don't gotta break my balls about dancing. This is how I dance. You ever see a knife dance? You wanna dance with a knife? I've heard about dancing with a knife, but never with a leather open. Tommy, I think you're a little confused. Somebody wanna shut this guy up before I give him a second speech impediment? Oh, hold on. Stop playing. The ball's about to did you drop. Stop, you dick. Why is the ball's about to drop? Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! It's the year 2022. Can you believe it? 2022. And Peter and Pyle are still here. Me. Pyle. Him. Pete. No, Pete's sleeping on the couch. He already passed out. I didn't even notice it wasn't there, honestly. This is the end of the show, Pete. We gotta close this up. No, listen, I'll, I'll go ahead and finish it up. It's now Milo and Pyle show. I didn't sign up for this. You guys have a good night and a good year. Happy New Year from Marlo, Petey, and Pyle. And Tommy. Happy New Year, people. Feliz Cumpleaños!
an incredibly awful year, and good lord, we're we're down to the last month. It's time to cheer shit up. Yeah, yeah, I say we cheer yeah. shit up around here. You heard the jingling. We came in singing. You heard the jingling. We came in singing. Happy holidays. 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 You heard the jingling, we came in singing. Happy holidays. 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 Happ